Objective 1.13b, core practical. Investigate the use of chemical reagents to identify starch, reducing sugars, proteins, and fats. Now you've probably heard before the phrase, you are what you eat. Well, it is entirely true. Every time you eat food, it goes into your body, gets digested, and all the molecules then that are broken down in digestion are then absorbed into your blood and taken around and then used to build more cells and to build more tissues, to rebuild and for you to grow and for you to stay healthy. So everything that you are eating is getting turned into more of you. Now, what molecules are in food? Well, it's made up of different biological molecules and the main ones are carbohydrates, which involves sugars and starch, lipids, uh, or also known as fats, and protein. Now in this practical, you're gonna carry out four different food tests that you can do to detect these biological molecules. Uh, those will be starch, reducing sugars, protein, and fat. So first of all, the starch test. Now in the starch test, what you do is you take a small sample of the food and you put it into a little well on a spotting tile or maybe into a test tube and you add a few drops of iodine indicator solution. And the color change will go from yellow, orange to blue, black if starch is present in the food. Foods where this will most likely to see results are things like bread, pasta, potato, rice. They have lots of starch in, they come from plants and you will see a nice blue black color. Reducing sugars. Now reducing sugars are small sugars like glucose or fructose. Now to test for that, what you do is you take a small sample of the food and you put it into a boiling tube. A boiling tube is just a larger test tube. And you add something called Benedict's reagent, which is this bright blue colored solution. And you heat it, uh, this boiling tube, in a water bath at about 80 to 85 degrees C for about five minutes. Now if that food contains reducing sugars, it will cause a colored precipitate to form. Precipitate are solid particles suspended in the solution. So it makes a nice color. And the colors change depending on how much reducing sugar there is. Uh, no reducing sugar at all, it will stay blue. If there's a bit of sugar, it will go green, then to orange. And finally, if there's lots of reducing sugar in there, it will go brick red. In order to test for protein, you take the sample to be tested and you place it in a test tube, and then you add something called biuret solution. Now, biuret solution starts off blue, and if there is protein, it will turn lilac or purple. There is no need to heat this test, it is done just at room temperature. In order to test for fats or lipids, you do something called the emulsion test. What you do is you take the food sample, place it in a test tube, and add a small volume of ethanol. You then shake it so that the fat dissolves into the ethanol. Then you add an equal volume of water and a cloudy emulsion will form, which will indicate the presence of the fats. This slide here just summarizes the four food tests you need to know for this core practical.